This is the second part of a level one functional skills paper from City and Guilds. You can use a calculator for this part and there is a total of 45 marks. We'll have a look at the questions one by one. First question is asking, what is 0 0.35 as a fraction? Give your answer in its simplest form. 0 0.35 is like 35 out of 100. We can divide both numbers by 5. So if I divide 35 by 5, I'm going to get 7. And if I divide 100 by 5, I'm going to get 20. Oh, any further? No, because the only number I can divide 7 by is 7, but I can't divide 20 by 7, so 70. A stadium has capacity for 28,000 people to watch sporting events. 21,500 people attended the last event held at the stadium. Approximately how full was the stadium? Now, 21,500 out of 28,000. So I can round these off. What I'm going to do, looking at the numbers, I can see a 21 there and a 28. So I'm going to do 21 over 28. 21 is the multiple of 7 and 28 is a multiple of 7. So if I divide them both by 7, I'm going to get 3 at the top and 4 at the bottom. So this is approximately, not exactly, 3 quarters full, which is option C. The third question is saying the range of temperature recorded in London one day is 8 degrees Celsius. Which pair of temperatures could have been the minimum and maximum that day? So we've got 10 degrees and 16 degrees Celsius. The difference between them is actually 6. So 16 take away 10 gives us 6. So that's not an option. That's not what we're after. Then we've got 8 and 10 degrees Celsius. Again, the difference is just 2 degrees Celsius, so not the correct answer. Negative 3 and 4. Now, to get from negative 3 to 0 degrees Celsius, there's going to be 3 of them. And to get from 0 to 4, it's going to be 4 degrees 4 and 3 make 7, so that's not correct either. And then we've got D, which goes negative 2. So there is negative 2, and then we have 0, and then we have 6. So from negative 2 to 0, we've got 2 degrees. From 0 to 6, we've got 6. Add them together, gives us 8. So D is the correct answer. Question four, 74,035.52 divided by 3.7 is equal to what? We can use a calculator, so we're just going to input this into the calculator now. So this is 20,009. 6. Fifth question is asking what is four fifths of 690? So four fifths of it. As we can use a calculator, what we can do is just do four fifths, four divided by five, off times 690. 
and that should give us the answer, or 690 divided by 5 times 4, and that is 552. Question 6. A salesperson must drive from Bristol to attend a meeting in Nottingham at 10 a.m. This table shows distance in miles between different places. He works out he needs to leave Bristol at 9 a.m. Is his calculation sensible? Explain your answer. So looking at the table which shows the distances in miles between the different places, we can see that the distance between Bristol and Nottingham is 140 miles. Now, he's expecting to complete the journey within one hour, so 9am to 10am. And that is not enough because you can't really drive at that speed in between the cities. So, is the calculation sensible? No. Explanation? One hundred and forty miles is too long a distance to do in one hour. Question 7. A woman wants to buy new kitchen units for £1,800. The shop offers some plans for the customer to make equal monthly payments. The woman wants to know how much her monthly payments will be if she pays for the units over two years. What will the monthly payments be? Okay, so it says over two years. And looking at the table, that's where two years will be. 15% total interest charged. So we're looking at 15% of 1,800. So 15%, 15 out of 100 times 1,800 gives us 270. That's the interest she's gonna pay on top of the £1,800. So adding that, so that's the total amount. We'll figure out how much you will have to pay monthly. So 2,070 divided by 24, because it's over two years. And that gives us 86.25. So 86 pounds and 25 pence each month. A man needs to paint the wall behind the bunk bed with a different color next to each level of the bed. The lower level will be painted green. He needs to work out the area of this space. And we've got a sketch of the wall area, which is not to scale. What is the area that he will paint green? Okay, so this is a compound shape, which we're gonna to have to split into two rectangles. I'm going to split it here so I know that this smaller rectangle dimensions are 0 0.95 by 0 0.5. I'm going to multiply them to work out the area for that rectangle and that is equal to 0 
four seven five squared meters. Now looking at the other rectangle, we've got this dimension given to us, which is one point three, and we'll multiply that by this length here, which we don't know exactly yet, but we're going to work it out. We know that this whole length is 1.95. If I take away this, which is 0 0.95, then I'm going to be left with what I need. So 1.95 take away 0 0.95 that is going to leave me with just one, one meter. So this is one meter. 1.3 times one is equal to 1.3 squared meters. Adding the two areas together, I get 1.3, add 0 0.475, gives me 1.775, squared meters as all dimensions we given are in meters question nine a group of friends play a game of cards they have already taken nine cards from the pack a player wants to know the probability that the next card is a spade. What is the probability that the next card is a spade? Give your answer as a fraction in its simplest form. Okay, so how many of these cards can be a spade? I mean the cards that haven't been drawn already. So none of them has been a spade already. So we haven't had a spade. So there could be six of them, just like we can see from here. So six out of. Now, how many are there in total? And how many of them have been taken already or drawn already? So. We'll have a look at the totals in here and we'll work out the difference. And that's the number that's going to go here under the six. Okay, so 10 and 10, 20, 22, 24. And we've got one and two, three, four, five, and four is nine. The difference between them two is 15. So 6 out of 15 is the probability we're after. We've got to write it in its simplest form. So 6 out of 15, we can divide both by 3, so it's going to give us 2 over 5. Question 10. A joiner has a video channel on the internet where he shares tips on for the home. He wants to organise his videos into three suitable groups by time. Show how he will organise his videos. Make one comment about what the results show you. So looking at these durations, I can see that they range from 1 minute to 14 minutes. So if I am to create three groups, then I am thinking of splitting them into five. So zero to five, six to 10, 11 to 14, or 15. So
that's the groups and frequency how many of them between 0 and 5 inclusive of 0 and 5 we've got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 between 6 and 10 we've got 1 2 3 4 Between 11 and 15, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In terms of making a comment about this, there are different comments we can make. But what I'm going to write down is that most of the videos are 6 minutes or longer. Question 11. A farmer uses a drone to monitor animals. The drone can fly a distance of 8 kilometers when its battery is fully charged. The drone has one quarter of its battery life left. The farmer needs to know if the drone has enough battery to complete this route shown starting from his farmyard. So that's where it's going to start and the route is shown in green. Does the drone have enough battery life to complete the route? Explain your answer with figures. Let's have a look at how long the route is. We've got a scale given to us which is that this length is equal to 100 meters. So we'll have a look at how many of these lengths they are all together and we can see from here there is one up to this point two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two 23 24 so that is 24 lengths of 100 meters each and that gives us 2400 meters so we are given here the distance that the drone can fly when fully charged in kilometers so it's eight kilometers and one quarter of the battery is left so one quarter of eight is equal to eight divided by four which is two so two kilometers now that Two kilometers, if you convert it into meters, we know that one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. So two kilometers is going to be 2,000 meters. Comparing that to this, now the drone can only do 2,000 meters, but this route that we've shown is actually 2,400 meters long. So it's not enough. Does the drone have enough battery life to complete the route? No. Explanation. With the battery life it has left, 
the drone can only do 2,000 meters, not 2,400 meters. Question 12. A man needs to work out what filter machine to buy for cleaning his circular swimming pool. He uses the following formula to calculate the volume of water in his pool in litres. To find the number of litres, we've got step 1, multiply the radius squared by 3.142. Step 2, multiply the answer to step 1 by the height of water. And step 3, multiply the answer to step 2 by 1000. We've got a diagram of the pool and some dimensions. The man would like a filter machine that can clean the full volume of water in his pool in less than five hours. He finds a filter machine that cleans 2,000 litres of water per hour. He needs to know if this machine will be suitable for his pool. Will his filter machine be suitable? It's in your answer using figures. Let's do this step by step. So step one, multiply the radius squared by 3.14. So radius is here, which is 2.1. So we'll go 2.1 squared times 3.142. That is equal to 13.85622. Step 2, multiply the answer to step 1, which is this 13.85622, by the height of water. And the height is 0 0.7 metres. So 13.85622 times 0 0.7 gives us 9.699354. Now step 3 is saying to multiply that answer, which is 9.699. 9354 by 1000 and that is equal to 9699.354 so we finished the steps that was to find the number of liters so the unit here is liters Now we're looking to find a machine that cleans 2,000 litres of water per hour and he needs to clean the full volume of water in his pool in less than five hours. So the machine does 2,000 litres per hour and multiply that by five the hours, that should give us 10,000 and if we compare that 10,000 with this 9,699.354 is lower than 10,000 so it should take less than 5 hours with this machine so it is suitable will the filter machine be suitable? yes and the explanation machine will clean the 9,699.354 litres in less than five hours.
question 13. A man has flight at 19.15 on Thursday. He must arrive at the airport two hours before his time to check in. He needs to know what time he should leave home. He will park his car at the airport car park and it will take 15 minutes to get to the check-in counter. The distance from his house to the airport is 90 miles. He will drive at an average of 60 miles per hour. What time must he leave home? So we'll take this step by step. He needs to be there at 19.15. Well, that's when the flight will start, but he needs to arrive at the airport two hours before that. So that should be 17.15. So we've dealt with this part. Now looking at the next bit, then he's going to park his car at the airport and it's going to take 15 minutes. So if I take away now 15 minutes, this is going to be 17.00. And then the distance from his house to the airport is 90 miles. It's not 90 minutes, it's 90 miles. He will drive at an average speed of 60 miles per hour. So 60 miles will take one hour. 90 miles is 60 miles and 30 miles. So 30 miles will take half of that, which is half an hour. So in total, that journey from home will take one hour and a half. So if I take away one hour first from the 17.00, I'm left with 16.00. Take another half an hour, that is going to be 15.30. So we've included everything that needs to be included. And time to leave home, 15.30. Question 14. A woman receives an offer to join the pet club at her vet's. She needs to pay the following costs for her dog. £60 for the annual injection. £42 for flea and worm treatment every three months. £36 for a health check every six months. Should you join the pet club? Explain your answer. So we'll need to compare the pet club and the normal cost that she incurs for the dog. So looking at the pet club, the pet club says for just £19.99 a month, we can offer the following exclusive benefits to help keep your pet happy and healthy. Free annual injection, free flea and warm treatment, 50% off health check. Okay, so we need to multiply the 19.99 by 12 first. And that is equal to £239.88. Now we've got to add to that the health check because that's not free. It's 50% off but not free. So in terms of the cost, that is £36 for every six months. Since this is half price off that means for the whole year this lady is going to pay 36 pounds so add 275 pounds and 88 pence that is for the pet club now we'll have a look at what is the cost without joining pet club so 60 pounds for the injection 42 pounds for flea and warm treatment every three months so there's got to be four lots of it 
So 4 times 4 to 2 gives us 168. And then 36 for the health check every six months. And there should be two of them. So that is 72 pounds. Adding them together is a total of 300 pounds. Comparing the two, this is cheaper. So, should she join the pet club? Yes, she should. Explanation. Because 275 pounds and 88 pence is cheaper than 300 pounds. Final question. A principal needs to report to the governess how absence rates have changed over the last four years. She needs to work out last year's percentage absence. What percentage of the total days were the students absent for last year? So they were absent for 948 days out of 39,500. So that means we've got to divide 948 by 39,500, and that is 0 0.024. Now we need to write that as a percentage, which means multiplying it by 100. So the decimal point moves two spaces to the right. So this becomes 2.4%. She wants a chart for a report. She finds the following extra information. We've got four years ago, 6.8%, which is percentage of days absent. Three years ago, 5.6%. Two years ago, 3.2%. Draw a chart or graph for the principal's report. We'll have the 2.4% as the figure we worked out for this year. to make it easier for us to see them all in one place. So we'll project it all here, showing time horizontally. And percentage vertically. So we'll show years ago in here, I will leave a gap to begin with and then show four years ago, then three years ago, two years ago, one year ago, and vertically percentage absence. So it goes up to 6.8. There are 13 squares going up so we can't really show 1% represented 
in over two squares so we're going to use one instead so we're going to start from zero and then we're going to go to one two three four five and six percent good uh, numbers as well so four years ago it was 6.8 percent so we will stop here Gonna color it in. So I'm gonna make a copy of this and then paste it. Now we're looking for three years ago the percentage was 5.6 so we're going to have to adjust this to go to 5.6 and the next one is 3.2 Going to three point two and then two point four. Now we can give this a title to say College. absence in percentage in last four years and that is complete And this is the end of the section.